focus on our, our, so we realize right there that God loves us, correct? Okay, we are supposed to love God, correct? Now, let's go to 1 John, that's back near Jude, right after this second John. <laughs> I can't tell you what's right before it. I gotta look first. I think it's Peter. Peter, second Peter. <laughs> first John, second chapter. Because here's the reality of everything. We could say we love, we love, 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 but uh. How do you know that you love God? That's the question everybody says. Man, how do you know you love God? You don't love God. Man, I just seen you smoking that cigarette. Man, you don't love God. Man, how do you, how you love God? I just seen you out there at the bar. Man, how do you love God? I just seen you out there at the club. So people say, how, how do you know you love God? How you, here's how you know you love God. Number one, before we even get here, I can tell you something. Before we even go to this scripture, I can tell you this. No, let's just go to the scripture. <laughs> let's just go to the scripture. Well, I can't, I can't say it. I, I can say it. Let me say it. How you know you love it? Number one. And I ain't going to look there. Right now, we're going to put the Bible on the side and say, I'm going to say this. And you better listen. <laughs> I want to say this. How do you know you love God? You read your word. I'm gonna say that. That's how. You, that's one way to know you love God. You read your word. Now let's read. Uh, chapter two, verse starting at verse three. Now by this we know that we know Him. If we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps the word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he's a, he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Amen. So that's the way to find out, hey, <laughs> you really, do you want to know, do you love God? Yeah. There it is right there. I didn't say it. God said it. Boom. You may say, hey, man, that ain't, that ain't God, that ain't Jesus speaking. Well, you got Second Timothy 3.16 speaks about how all the words God breathed. It's all inspired by God. All of this. It don't matter if it's the red letters. It don't matter if it's the black letters. It's Jesus. It's God. It's all of them speaking. It don't even matter. Because the Bible said all the word is God's word. Everything. God is speaking. Or else he wouldn't have gave it to us. That simple. Ain't that right, son? <laughs> He knows. He hears it all the time. So he knows. <laughs> uh, third. third. So we know that God loves us. We're supposed to love God. And now, the last one, we're supposed to love our neighbors. Right? Uh, we're going to go to Romans 15. Back to Romans. I'm sorry, I, I usually don't go through a lot of scriptures like this. So forgive me for uh, working out your fingers. <laughs> My sister said the other day, hey, I'm keeping my metabolism going. So you work it out. Keep on moving. <laughs> there it is. So here we are. Matthew 15. One. Romans, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was looking at something, sorry. Thanks, Grant. Was that Grant? Oh, oh, V. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, thanks, V. It says, We then who are strong ought to bear with the scruples of the weak, and not only, and not to please ourselves. 
So there we have where it's not supposed to please ourselves and helping those out. It says, let each of us please his neighbor for his good, lead into edification. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now, may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded towards one another, according to Christ Jesus, that you may, with one mind and one mouth, glorify the God. Glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, and, and I could go back to uh, Matthew um, when he speaks about uh, loving our neighbor as our as ourself, and I, and I think I've been, done that. Um, but I could go back in the beginning. He said, well, matter of fact, in the Epistle of John, he says, "He that says he loves." me who he hasn't seen but hates his brother who he sees every day is a liar so I'm going to wrap this up now because this is what we see we see God sitting on high said you know what I love you so much that I'm going to die for those who hate me. I'm going to give you something eternal. I'm going to give you eternal life. Number one, I'm going to give you a better life on earth. Then, I'm going to give you eternal life with me in heaven. Then, we're supposed to love God. We're, we're commissioned to love God. And through loving God, we follow His commandments. We follow His ways. We follow His steps. We listen to what he has to say. And we don't bow down to 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 the system, the man. <laughs> Rihanna, that's that's my my, my uh, buddies man. They raise the man. <laughs> but we don't bow down to to the system that I, that 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 stands against the word of God. Um and number three we are to love our neighbors. We're supposed to love our enemies, pray for those who despitefully use us. We're supposed to do all these things and say, wow. And that, that's awesome. Number one, here it is. If we truly, if we love our neighbors as we love ourselves, number one, we're going to present the gospel to them. Right? So, just like God Wow, that's great. Just like God presented eternity to us, and you know what? He presents etern eternal gifts to us by saying, listen, I'm going to give you eternal life. And he said, if you, he said, now we're supposed to love him, right? So when we love him, when we spread the gospel, when we do certain things in a work when we do certain things according to the word of God, then Christ said, Listen, because you love me, I'm gonna give you gifts. I'm gonna give you crowns. I'm gonna give you crowns of life. Crowns, crowns of life. And then we're supposed to love our neighbors. So we're for now it's the whole thing just flipped. God gave us eternal life, eternal gifts. Now he's telling us to give our friends eternal life. Present them with eternal life. The same life that I gave you. The same the same the same power I gave you. The same the same Holy Spirit that I presented to you. I want you to present that to them. Because if they receive me, then they will get what you're getting. They will live like you're living. They will see the way that you're seeing. And that is true love. All this other stuff, they ain't love. <laughs> or, or, or I'll say this: it's form of forms of love. Because when you study the the Greek, there's three types of love. But 
it's, it's forms of love. But true and absolute love comes from God. 